Let's get it started in here. And the bass keeps. I am ready to take you on a tour of the Steamboat Museum. This is my dad. He is going to um, be behind the camera. This is my dad. Let's have fun. This is a paddle wheel. Um, they use paddle wheels on the back of the boats to push the water and make the boats go. Steam um, makes the paddle wheel go. Steam makes the piston go, which pushes the paddle wheel. With Mr. Holly. What was your favorite part of digging up the What was it called again? The Arabia, the Steamboat Arabia. Yeah. What was your favorite part? About digging up the Steamboat Arabia? I think I think one of the most favorite things about digging up this steamboat was digging it with my my dad and my brother and good friends. And I think that any time you can uh, find buried treasure or, or have a party or sit down and watch a, a football game or somebody with your family and friends, that makes it all the more special. Because I think in life, what's really meaningful is sharing with each other and with other people. And so digging the Arabia was a great discovery and we found lots of great treasure. But what makes it special is that we shared it with one another and we're now sharing it with the community, just as we're sharing it with you here today at the museum. That's what makes it special. Once me and my brother found the tree root underground. Oh, you did? Yeah, we dug up it up in, grandpa, in our grandpa's yard because one of the trees got knocked down. Oh, my. And it was kind of exciting to do it with your brother then, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, but first we thought it was a pipe. Wow, but it was a big old tree root, huh? Yeah, from the tree that was really, really, really big. Wow, that's exciting. Tell them thank you now. Thank you. Well, you're sure welcome. I hope you have a good time here at the Arabia. Nobody died on the Arabia. Um, the only one that was left on it was a mule. Here are his bones. are the boiler tanks and the doctor pump. Watch, this is how it works. Zoom in. Push it again, you can. things that they traded. Here are some beads and some thimbles and guns, buttons, silverware. And candles and knives and pipes. One of my favorite things a basket that they put wood in and then they light the wood up in the head they of the boat so then they can light the way so they could see. Isn't that cool? Steamboat <laughs> Arabia's job was to take things to Pioneer so they could build homes and here is a big saw they used to cut wood. It's called a two-man cross saw. This is what pioneer um, life would look like um, with the Arabia things that it was carrying.
These are the beautiful buttons that were put on clothes to decorate them. Look how nice they look. Look at those glasses. They're much smaller than the ones we have now. Mine's are much bigger. These are the, some of the, the, the food that they had on the Arabia. There's ketchup and sweet pickles and pickle relish and lots more. And they're still good. This is the anchor of the steamboat Arabia. It, it's, uh, it's much it's bigger than me. located at the bottom of the hull are connected to long steel rods called the hog chains. These chains ran their full length of the Ar Arabia. Arabia when tightened these hog chains re reinforced the secure of the boat, keeping it straight and strong. Finished with our tour of the Steamboat Arabia Museum. I hope you had a good time. And this is Mackenzie signing off for Miss Sutton's class.